Welcome everyone to Breaking Games, where we train to change. This is our first video of the year. Hope you all enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with my fitness journey. Let's go. We're gonna get these warm-ups in. See what it feel like today. Cause we starting the whole program and uh, I got to be lifting like at 75, 70 to 85%, I believe. I don't know, I might wanna, I don't really like these measures. I might have to lower it because like, I gotta like really press up just to get it off of the freaking rack. Let me just make sure I'll be here all day going back and forth. That might be better. Yeah, that's better. A lot better. So uh, let's see what we got to hit today. Two eighty-five. Two eighty-five. We're gonna start with. Yeah, this first we're gonna go for 70%. Two cent to five. Two eighty five. Y'all don't understand, this is about to be heavy. I gotta get four to six reps. These ain't the reps that uh, I usually use. These are my old reps, but um, we're gonna work with it. Come on, baby, this is lightweight. Four to six, four to six. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, I got one more. Yep. Good God Almighty. God dang. It's a little heavy. It's a little bit. These freaking bars. I kept hitting it. So it might have to come off. Yeah, they're gonna have to come off. Cause like, obviously if I fail, I'm gonna just roll it off. I can't fail and get stuck on the bar because I can't fit underneath the bar. So yeah, bar just coming off. The program I'm doing, I'm basically doing like a strength training program. Uh, in addition with the uh, weight loss. So, it's gonna be a journey. Uh, our first four weeks is gonna be like a, a consistent routine, basically. I got push, pull, upper body, rest, uh, legs, upper body, rest. And I'm just gonna cycle, cycle like that. So I'm gonna do that for like four weeks. The ideal of a group program is like doing um, around 70 to 85 percent on most of my like compound lifts so yeah i'll be pushing some heavy weight because my maxes are pretty high which makes my percentages uh the weight for my percentages pretty high too so like 
So this is my 70% and I'm already at 285. So that should tell you something if you do the math. But um, yeah, a lot of people, what they don't understand is strength training with a little bit of cardio. Uh, it's gonna help you lose weight, including your calorie deficit. So right now I'm, my cut is uh, 2,800 calories, which is really gonna suck because I'm used to like 32 or more, but you know, my body will adapt. I'll do five weeks of 2,800. My fifth week would be like a deload week uh, at 60% on my list to include my maintenance calories. And then after that fifth week, I continue to another four to six weeks of uh, working out at that same percentage, but I'm gonna be uh, changing my um, changing my exercises. I'm not gonna be doing the same like routine. Like, yeah, I might, I might, I might get through these first four to uh, four weeks and I'll be kind of bored, but I do have exercises. I do no exercises on how to uh, switch up, switch it up if I get too bored or whatever the case is. But and also, I do work out alone. I mean, my wife's over there doing her own thing, but we have different programs. So I don't have gym bros. No gym bros, no spot. Just pure strength, uh, knowing my limits. If I ever need a spot, I'm gonna ask for a spot. I, don't, I ain't scared to ask nobody for a spot. But let's get it popping. Come on, six more, baby, six more. That's good. I'm making my six reps. Die, y'all song robots. I'm listening to Chief Keef right now. And they love them glow, boys. But I do want to switch my sound. It's like every, every time I do a lift, I have a different song for each set. You need something? Crazy. Oof, come on. Only got five of that. God dang. Huh. Boy. That took some energy. And I got one more set? That's how I know it's working right. Cause that's how it's supposed to feel. You should not be getting the full reps. The full amount, excuse me, the full amount of reps for your entire like workout or your entire exercise. Cause that third set, boy, I feel like I was pushing. And it's gonna be, this gonna be a tough battle. Hold on, I can't even hear myself talk. It's gonna be a tough battle because uh, I'm on a cut. So I'm not gonna feel like I'm completely fueled by with what I'm eating. Like literally sucks, but my breakfast was literally like a, a shake. Um, strawberries, freaking like the protein yogurt, bananas, oatmeal, honey, and almond milk. All of that. I probably had like a cup like, like, like that big, something like that. You know, them Sonic cups. 
filled it up basically. And that was my breakfast. Yup. Um, like I said, there's no, this ain't no secret program, nothing like that. It's just, it's pure science, as you can call it. Cardio, strength training, calorie deficit equals weight loss. I mean, it don't get no simpler than that. So don't stress yourself whenever it's time for you to cut or lose weight, whatever you wanna, whatever your goals is. Uh, let's go. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Had to bounce it. Had to bounce that one. Had to. Cause that third one was like a no. Had to bounce that one. Good, got him out. We Gucci though. On to the next one. What a lot of people always stressing is either you doing partial reps or full range of motion. Yes, full range of motion is always good, but there's nothing wrong with your partial reps. Partial reps help you work around injuries, especially for those who got them shoulder injuries and stuff like that. So partial reps will help you work around your injuries. And then um, it also keeps the freaking, it keep the tension, baby. Keep the tension on the mess, on the muscles. The muscles. <laughs> That wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all. Yeah, so we at 165 now. Hey, I definitely I definitely went a little faster than what I intended to. One more. Uh. Dang! This is why I say go slower. There's a huge difference when you slow it down. Huge difference. Cause boy, I was pushing. <laughs> So we on the sixties. All right. Only about overhead headphones. A trick is just if you ain't got like them ones that stay on your head, lay them forward to where they hit that forehead, so they don't fall back when you lean back. Okay, so the way that those move right there, I'm probably gonna meet in the, in the middle area. So I'm gonna go 75 just for those six to eight reps because like I, it was good tension and everything like that, but I didn't feel like 
you know, like that push, like, y'all know what exactly what I'm talking about. For those who do know, I didn't feel like I had to like try. I felt like it was like a common, common weight for me to just lift. So I'm gonna go 75s and make sure that like, at least by the time I get to six, like I'm really feeling it. Come on. y'all thinking that went pretty smooth too and it probably did look smooth did it feel smooth no Come on. Yeah. Uh, uh. Dang. So, yeah, we have one more set of this. And then we get to finally do our last exercise. Today, I'm not doing cardio. I'm not doing cardio. My wife, she's already on her cardio right now. And I still got a whole nother exercise to do, so yeah. Hopefully I can get it, and this guy doesn't take it. We do a tricep push challenge. Uh, obviously there's variants of how you can do triceps, but I'm just gonna keep it simple to where I'm just regularly pushing down. I'm gonna use the straight bar and do a push down. Some people you can use a V bar, you can do reverse, you can do the rope, but I'm gonna stick with the straight bar and just knock out my triceps. This machine ain't really got too much tension and like, the weight don't be like waiting. You know what I'm saying? Or I could be wrong. Nah, this is this is all right. I'm definitely gonna uh, increase the weight so that way like it's actually doing something. I mean, I'm not saying it's not doing anything, but I really wanna feel it. I got a mind and muscle connection and there was nothing there. It just felt like I was just doing it. Okay, let's go. That was it right there. I don't like being in the gym longer than what I need to be in, being here for. I don't believe in doing two hour sessions. The only time you will ever catch me in the gym doing two hour sessions is if I'm with gym bros. Cause obviously there's a lot of us and we push weight. But I ain't got that kind of energy. Hopefully I can find that energy this year. For the merchandise, this is one of my shirts. 
break the old you, gain the new you. Got breaking gains on the back. The only thing about this shirt, it feels a little loose. Um, the other shirt, Train to Change, fits perfect. So I don't know, maybe they use, the warehouse used different fabrics to um, do this specific shirt, but I'm gonna get me another one and uh, see how it fits, because this right here, I don't like it. I mean, they bring some wind to hill, but nah, bro, nah. Make sure they're all premium, good quality. It's gonna be worth the price. All right, let's get this last hit and call it. was perfect that was perfect we we done happy new year great start keep the consistency keep the grind let's get it <laughs>